All right, Winston-Salem Dash, incidentally, a home opener is April 16th, so we're looking at 76, 77 days away. That's not bad. Here's a live look at Winston-Salem and Super Doppler 12. We've got some good cloud cover in the area this morning. It's currently 38 degrees, east-northeast wind at 7. Doesn't feel too bad outside. Don't be surprised though, maybe a few flurries in the area, northern half of the area, seeing a least last burst of wet weather and uh, we're seeing at least in the cloud layer, at, uh, it's at least some falling snow. It's well above freezing though this morning and got well above freezing yesterday afternoon. High officially at PTI Airport was 48 degrees, but several communities, including Winston-Salem, uh, did hit 50 degrees yesterday. 42 was the high in some of our mountain locations up uh, across the Virginia line, very close to normal numbers for late January. We are running out of January. Two days left to go, including today. February 1st is actually Saturday. Temperatures uh, upper 30s uh, this morning. They've kind of leveled off and held there in the heavy cloud cover this morning. Few lingering raindrops are still around and you can see a few snowflakes uh, flying uh, over for Scythe County, Yadkin, in Surrey, I doubt you'll see much, if anything, and it certainly isn't going to uh, make uh, slick travel conditions as warm as the road surfaces are and temperatures are in the upper 30s today. But there it is. Should be exiting pretty quickly as the storm continues to pull away from the coast. Uh, really, the only area seeing uh, any rain is from uh, area from Charleston uh, to the Wilmington area, maybe Topsail Beach and then heading up toward Moorhead City. Maybe a few sprinkles uh, out and about. We could catch a few of those too. Uh, light rain chance at 20%. That does seem high. I think it's all exiting, but uh, again, mainly cloudy conditions. Temperatures will likely still be in the 30s at that point. Uh, mid 40s midday, high of around 48. So we'll start to see more sunshine. Brief window lasting into tomorrow morning, then the clouds start to return. Uh, this morning, a few sprinkles, flurries perhaps in the foothills. Temperatures uh, dipping into the mid 30s briefly, so still above freezing. 47 in the afternoon and mountain temperatures will likely hold on to so a little bit of rain, snow, warming to more of a light rain than anything else. Uh, 20 to 30 percent chance that at least linger into the afternoon hours before that begins to taper down. Clouds don't break apart too much over our western areas today either. You can see the chance for a few lingering something falling from the sky. Our temperatures are, are back. Uh, warming up again in the afternoon. Mid 40s more than likely to upper 40s this afternoon. We're down near freezing in the morning, scattered clouds early, and then in the afternoon we start to bring in heavier clouds followed by a rain chance. This is going to be mostly for the southern part of our area and along the east, and then it should pull away pretty quickly overnight, but a lingering shower chance will be a possibility. Rain totals will be best in the I-95 corridor. We'll likely see about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain here locally that may also mix with a little bit of mountain snow. Uh, your 7-day forecast does warm temperatures up early next week. F mid 50s on Sunday should be a nice day if you've got Super Bowl plans and uh, temperatures are back in the lower 60s starting Monday.